Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super throwing! So yesterday we threw a scrunched up ball of paper with some foil with our super throwing arms. But I'm not sure either of these are going to be much use if I can't throw accurately. I mean, I wouldn't want to hit something important, like a cookie delivery truck now, would I? Mmm, cookies. Oh, where was I? Oh, that's right, we were on throwing things. Now, being able to improve the accuracy of my throw means practice. I've already investigated some good shapes for flying when we were looking at the superpower of flight, and we built that hoop plane. I wonder if we could use that hoop shape to make something that we could use to practice throwing with. We could practice our accuracy. Okay, I know, spinning disc shapes are very stable. Now you know this because if you've ever ridden a bicycle, you know that you can balance on two wheels when your wheels are spinning and you are going forwards. But when your wheels stop spinning, you fall over. Or at least I fall over. I think that a hoop shape might be a great first step in making us think about aerodynamics and throwing. Unlike any good engineer, I think that we should build something to help us also improve our throwing accuracy. So for this experiment, you will need a plastic bottle, some card or some paper, tape, and some scissors. We're going to start by making our hoop ring. This is really simple. You're just going to cut rings out of the middle of a plastic bottle. You might need an adult to help you though, as this can be quite challenging. As these rings can actually be quite sharp, what we're going to do is we're going to add some safety decoration by covering them with strips of paper. I find it easy once I've surrounded the outside with paper, if I cut little tabs in the paper that is overhanging, and then you can fold those down and tuck them in and take them. Now I've got my hoops, I'm going to need to build some targets so I can practice my accuracy. So take some paper or some card and roll them up into long tubes. If you don't have any card, you can also use some toilet or kitchen roll tubes instead. Now to get these to stand up, make four small cuts along the bottom and then spread out the flaps. And this will help you to tape it down onto a surface like this and then you can just take them in place now I'm gonna make some of these tubes and I'm gonna stick them onto a box but you can stick yours onto your table if you like okay here we go we've got our rings and we've got our platform to test for our accuracy let me see if nano nano girl wants to watch okay nano nano girl I'm gonna put you right here and you can see what happens now, measure out the distance between you and your tube so that it's a fair game if you're going to compete with somebody else. And then you're going to see if your rings fly and are capable of landing on the tubes. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! Ah, not bad. I think I could do better though. What's that? Nana Nana Girl says she can do better than me. Okay. Well then you throw. Come over here. Here we go, same distance. One, two, three. Huh, maybe she could do better than me. Right, the competition is on. Why not see how many points you can score with your super hoop device? Ta -da! Ha ha, I got it, look at that. When you get really good, you can try and increase the distance between you and your hoop catcher. And that's how you're gonna improve your accuracy with distance. Wait. What's that, Nana Nana Girl? You want me to make you a little Nana ring so that you can throw and it's a fair game? I guess. All right, competition is on. I will help you build a Nano Nana ring and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.